y'all and welcome back to the channel yes this is another segment of picnic with jesus of love and i know y'all like the love i thought you said you was only gonna do that once a week well let me tell y'all okay it is whatever god leaves whatever jesus leaves okay whatever he wants that's what we gonna get that's what we have to go do it okay on this channel so y'all just sit back relax and go ahead and join me for this video all right so anyways yes as y'all can tell what i'm titled this video i think i'm excited i see you all right okay and that is inspired yes by another quote in this book um part of belonging with shade this is between her and her um aunt that she lives with her aunt has told her something that was just powerful y'all i had highlight okay and it reads okay um quit trying to be perfect figure out who you are and be that and I was just like, that was just so powerful. It sounds so simple, but it's, that's the way that wisdom be, y'all, and that simplicity, okay? Stuff be going a long way, but just by a few words. And that's why I want to have this um, segment on this channel, because just give y'all a few words to just think about, ponder, apply to y'all lives, and make it that much valuable, okay? I definitely want y'all to come to this channel. Well, lead this channel. I would say lead this channel. Excited. Just can't wait to see what God got up before you around in this corner. And just feeling good about yourself because you are amazing, all right? And we're going to get into that later on when I tell y'all about that scripture. Well, y'all know where I got it in it on the scripture. So, yes, I got perfect scripture for that. But, yes, I see you. It is so easy, y'all. Y'all don't give yourself enough credit, okay? Let's say that. Well, we. I'm putting myself in there. I'm putting myself in there, too. We don't give ourselves enough credit, okay? We look at ourselves and we be like, okay, and I understand, yes, yes, I ain't telling you to be arrogant and prideful. There's a difference, all right? Yes, be humble. And don't be esteeming yourself higher than the next person and all that. Like, you way better than the next person. But at the same time, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. But yes, at the same time, you just need to know who you are. And just know. I know you hear people say that all the time. Like, who we are in Christ. I mean, really knowing who we are in Christ and really knowing that Jesus Christ dwells inside of you. I Like, how amazing is that? I mean, we'd be giving more credit to all these other people who are just flesh and bone here today, gone tomorrow. All that kind of stuff. Be looking at these people like, wow. Oh, she got, look at homegirl hair. Look at them nails. Look at that outfit. Look who this one and that one with. And all that kind of stuff. All that fleshly stuff. All that lust of the eyes, which passes away. That, that no one ain't gonna be thinking about it. Um, thinking about that. When you stand before God at the end of your life, you is not gonna be thinking about um whatever famous person, whoever was doing this or that, who had the best music and all this other kind of stuff, which passes away with this world. Nobody gonna be thinking about that. So why have time for that now? You need to be looking at what is eternal. The things that are unseen are eternal, the things that are seen are um temporal. Look at those things that it seems like everybody just praising and uh, acting like it's something which it really ain't nothing. Look at that, it's temporal. That is gonna change just like the trends we be on something today and on something else tomorrow which shows you how fickle people are and how fickle this world is it never is no consistency it just end today and go on tomorrow however those things that are eternal you you are eternal jesus inside of you is eternal yes i want to say that you do not give yourself enough credit that's why i say i see you that's why i want to hide this video i see you because you need to start seeing you and seeing him in you and just knowing how precious and how beautiful that is be checking for you stop worrying, stop worrying about other people checking for you and people be literally walking out their door you can see it on their faces y'all they be strolling the streets strolling the malls and all this kind of stuff wondering look is somebody checking for me is this somebody checking for me look what i got going on look at this look at that and all this other kind of stuff stop waiting for somebody to validate you and approve you you already been approved you already been accepted into the beloved by jesus christ he already see you he already checking for you if jesus checking for you i don't need you checking for me okay who are you and that's how we not have to look at that yeah i want y'all to just know how precious you are and so you will walk in that and you would um you have you will, you will demand that respect from this world you won't have people talking to you any kind of way looking at you any kind of way and all that you will carry yourself in such a a a way of royalty because you know who dwells inside of you you're going to be protected of that thing protected of that spirit that is there that is eternal that loves you so much who is checking for you every day know the very hair the number of hairs on your head it don't get no deeper than that y'all and so i just really wanted y'all to really see when you look in that mirror today okay because i know you're gonna be looking at yourself at some point all right see really see you 
really see how valuable and how precious you are to the Lord, okay? And that's what I believe Shay Unt was telling her. Like, let me look at this again, okay? Yeah, quit trying to be perfect. And by being perfect, what she means is being perfect to the world's standards. What, what the world calls perfect. Because there's so many people make these um, life-altering decisions trying to fit in to what this world is saying is beautiful what this world is saying acceptable forget all of that know who you are and that's what Shay and she, like she said figure out who you are that's yes figure out who you are and how you do that looking in your word Jesus will tell you who you are so once you have that and you know who you are you will protect it you will hold on to it now, let me tell y'all something I was walking somewhere I don't know where I was it might have been in the theater. I don't know, because y'all know I just saw someone. <laughs> y'all know I just saw someone like you. So it might have been there. I just know I was out somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. But I'm thinking it was at the theater. Someone like you. And, I'm, and, that, and that thought just came to my mind. I just knew it was Jesus. I'm like, thank you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he was saying, like, you fearfully want for me. And I, and, I, and I started to think about that scripture as I'm walking, okay? I ain't even seeing what's going on around me. I'm just thinking about that scripture. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully. I'm, I'm wonderful. I mean, yes. Yes, I am. And I'm just really, like, diving into that scripture. I'm just really meditating on that thing while I'm out. And I'm thinking about this. Like, really getting a vision of myself and getting a vision of what Jesus see in me. And see in me so special that he was like, it, it is not enough for me to just behold you from a distance. No, I have to get inside of you. I got to live there. I just want to be that close to your heart, okay, beloved? And that's what I'm thinking about with him when I'm just like, just thinking about it now, I'm getting all excited. But yes, I wanted y'all to really think about that. Really see him, see him in you, see you in him. So you ain't got to be worried about all this other stuff that's going on around you. And if somebody like you or don't like you, won't you, don't want you, ain't none of that, uh, ain't none of that. And we, we, we don't all that okay we got the lord our savior right here with us okay so that's all i wanted to share with y'all because oh my goodness i'm in seven minutes oh no that's too little too long but yes i had to tell y'all about that before i leave y'all for the day i'm gonna go ahead and get this our scripture coming out of joshua one oh no that's not it okay coming out of y'all forgive me forgive me forgive me i think i don't mess around and bring, uh click off the thing hold on hold on, hold on. let me get it let me get it let me get it Y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I cannot let y'all leave, okay? Without telling y'all about this. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got you, I got you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let me type it in. Let me type it in. Y'all know y'all got to be patient with the world, okay? All right. Yes, I did. That's why I'm going to click on something else. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Psalms 139, 14, all right? I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. That's all I have for you for this video. Thank y'all so much for joining me. And please remember to leave your thoughts, your opinions, your perspective, your whole heart in the comment section below. So y'all know I love to respond to y'all. So until next time, may the Lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore.